Hello, this is Miss Seaver. Welcome back. Today, I will read a story on kindness and generosity. Here's the book. It's called Kindness and Generosity. It starts with me. By Jody Shepherd. So let's go ahead and read it. And before we start, let's look at this cover. What do you see here on the cover of the book? What do you think is going on? What do you infer? All right, tell someone, <clears throat> tell someone your thoughts and what you think is happening here. So when I see this picture, what I see is maybe two sisters getting along and it looks like maybe they were helping with baking cookies and the big sister's letting the little sister lick the spoon. That's what I see. Is that what you saw too? Here's the cover page. Ooh, and on the front, I see the table of contents. The table of contents tells you where you can find things inside the book and on what page. What are kindness and generosity? You open up your backpack and you realize you forgot to bring a snack to school. You do not say anything, but your friend notices you are not eating and she hands you one of her cookies. She is being both kind and generous. That was very nice of her to share. But it's always important to ask your teacher first. Kindness means you think about other people's feelings, not just your own. A kind person helps others. It feels good to help someone else. So here we have a little boy. He's being kind. What is he doing? That's good. Very good. He's helping his dad rake the yard. What a good boy he is. Generosity and kindness are a lot alike. A generous person is happy to share what she has. You do not need to buy things for people to be generous. You can give a gift from the heart. You can make a card for a friend who is sick. You can give your brother a hug if he falls. So if you want to give someone something, do you have to buy it? No. You can give a gift from your heart, right? And how can you give people a gift without buying something? Very good. Just like this little girl, you cut out a heart, right? Or make a card. You can also give your time. Generous people volunteer to help others. You could volunteer for a big job like helping to pick up garbage at the beach. Or you could volunteer for a small job like reading a book to your little brother or sister. So what are these kids doing? Looks like they're helping cleaning up at the beach, right? See, they're volunteering their time to help make the earth beautiful and to help keep it clean. She has a heart of gold. Have you ever heard someone say that? It does not mean the person's heart is really made out of gold. It is another way of saying that she is kind and generous. Maybe you have a heart of gold. Read about some other kind kids. Think about what you would do if you were in their place. Aww. Look at that. Do they look happy? They do, they're both smiling. Why do you think they're happy? Big hearted heroes. 
Everyone was playing soccer at recess and Ethan slipped and fell. Oh, poor Ethan. He cut his knee. He is really upset. Josh stops playing to see if Ethan is okay. He puts his arm around his friend to try to make him feel better. And then he offers to walk Ethan to the nurse's office. Oh, poor Ethan. He got hurt. But his friend's looking after him. He's like, hey, are you okay? Let me help take you to the nurse's office. Noah's school is having a winter coat drive. The coats will go to people who really need them to keep warm. Noah has a coat that does not fit anymore. He really likes it, but he knows he will not wear it. Noah donates his coat to the drive, helping others feels great. So was Noah being kind or generous or both? What do you think? He gave away some coats. Very good. It is Mia's birthday party. Her aunt says she's really excited for Mia to open her gift. Mia cannot wait to see what it is. But when Mia opens the gift, she is disappointed. Hmm. It is a book that she already has. She does not tell her aunt though. She says, thank you so much. And she gives her aunt a big hug. Does she say, I don't want that. I already have that book. No, she didn't. She said, thank you anyways. So that is being kind and polite. Sometimes you might get presents that you don't want, but you can't tell people you don't want them because that's not very nice. So remember to use your manners. Henry's neighbor broke her leg and it is hard for her to walk her dog. Henry and his mom offer to help out. Henry walks his neighbor's dog every day before school. His neighbor is really grateful. Aw, that's so nice. He's helping out his neighbor and the dog, right? The dog doesn't want to be stuck inside the house, so he's probably happy that he gets to go for a walk every day. Lily and Aiden feel bad. Their friend Emma has been homesick all week. Now she going now she's going to miss the hundredth day of school party. Lily, Aiden, and all their friends make a poster. One hundred things we love about Emma. Lily brings it to her after school, along with some treats from the party. Oh, that was really thoughtful. How do you think Emma felt when her friends brought her that poster and these yummy treats? That was really nice. That was very kind of them. What ways can you think of to be kind and generous? Whether they are big or small, they will help make the world a better and kinder place. They will make you feel good too. So what can you do to be kind or generous? Think about it. What can you do that is kind or generous, big or small? Everyone can do something. What can you do? Here's a generosity superstar story. Like most teenagers, Lulu Cerrone likes parties, but Lulu makes her parties count. When she was 10 years old, Lulu learned that each $1 cup of lemonade she sold could mean a whole year of clean water for someone in Africa. She held the lemonade sale with her classmates that raised more than $4,000 for the cause. But Lulu did not stop there. She started an organization called Lemonade Warriors. It helps kids turn things they are already doing into chances to give. For example, a sleepover party can become a chance to collect blankets for the homeless people. Lulu has given away thousands of dollars and inspired many people to help others. She even won a Nickelodeon Halo Award for her work. So this girl is a little hero.
Even kids can make a difference. So it starts with you. Practice being generous by making a giving jar. So here you could start a giving jar if you want, like this little boy. It says you will need a clean, empty jar, a label, colored marker, stickers, and or paint. Write giving on the label and stick it to the front of a jar. Use the paint and stickers to decorate the jar. Put part of your weekly allowance or money you receive on special occasions into the jar. And then when the jar is full, donate the money to an organization of your choice. So you could collect money maybe and donate it to someone that needs it more. What would you do? Read the story below and imagine what you might do in this situation. There was a big storm in your town and some houses were flooded. A girl at your school lost a lot of her clothes, toys, and books. Her parents bought her new clothes, but she's still sad about what she has lost. Need help getting started? What can we do to help a girl that's lost everything? She doesn't have any more toys and no more books. What could we do to help her? Do you have any books, toys, or stuffed animals that you can give to your friend? Is there something you might do or say to cheer her up? So if you don't have something to give her, well, maybe you can give her some encouraging words and say, hey, it's going to be okay. How generous are you? Character quiz. Are you ready for the quiz? Number one, you are growing fast. Your clothes are still in good shape, but they do not fit anymore. What do you do? If your fit, clothes don't fit you anymore, what do you do with your clothes when they don't fit? A, throw them away and then look forward to buying new clothes. Or B, donate some to the homeless shelter. Number two, you just helped your mom bake a huge batch of your favorite cookies. What do you do? A, say, oh goody, lots for me. Or B, put some aside to share with your friends at lunch tomorrow. Only if allowed, okay? Sometimes you can't share lunch or snacks. You have to ask for permission. All right, number three. It is a warm, sunny day and your brother is sick and has to stay inside. What do you do? A, cheerfully wave goodbye and skip off to the swing set. B, spend a little time first keeping your brother company, then go out and play. So if you answered mostly Bs, you have a generous heart. Good job. Let's review the glossary terms. And the glossary is in the back of the book and we can review some new words or vocabulary. So disappointed, what does that mean? Disappointed. Disappointed means feeling let down. Okay, next word, donates. What does donate mean? Donate means giving something to someone who needs it. Next word, grateful. Grateful means thankful for things, being thankful for things. Volunteer, volunteer means help out without being paid. Right, and then here's our index, facts for now, and about the author. So facts for now is you can visit factsfornow.scholastic.com and enter keywords kindness and generosity for more information. And about the author, Jody Shepard, who also writes under the name Leslie Kimmelman, is an award-winning author of dozens of books for children, both fiction and nonfiction. She is a children's book editor too. All right, so here was the book we read. And think about, let's close this up with what do you, how can you be a kind or generous person? What can you do to be kind or generous? So think about it, write it down, um, draw a picture. Okay. All right. Thank you. Good job.